it's uh, and yeah. said okay we've got 14 days and this is your this is your score right now this is your average score and if you want to win you need this average score so you have to improve by x many percentage each day and how we do this is you you, you need you start at the end all plans are all plans are made in reverse which it, it like nobody ever taught me this when I went to school and it's so it saves you a lot of hassle in life if you understand that all plans are made in reverse you start with the outcome you want you plan back to where you are you see what you need to improve at each day that's it all plans are made in reverse you start at the end where do where where do i want to get to yeah and then and then you look at you just divide the time and you look at what i need to improve at each day and you plot a line between those two things and and that's it so that's what i did for uh for my son i made a chart i put it on his wall i said you're here you need to spend at least an hour every day on this activity and mm-hmm. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a parent like forcing my I kids to play can... play video games for an hour, for an hour a day right how how I backwards think... is yeah 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 exactly e- exactly and <laughs> and that most people would not a most people would approach it from the fact, oh, you're playing too much. And my idea is, no, if you want to be good, you're actually playing too little. Mm-hmm. E-sports is the fastest growing industry on the planet. Wow. Wow. That E-sport. is the, E-sports mm-hmm. is the fastest growing industry on the planet. Mm-hmm. If you are in Australia... And mm-hmm. look, you want to you want to make yeah, money. You want you you want to make money quickly. Buy a VR system. Mm-hmm. Set up a Beat Saber tournament in your local town, and you will mm-hmm. be the the champion of esports. And it's the fastest growing industry. And that'll put you in a key position, right? And all the kids love it because they all want to get involved because it's the new gateway. Um, like uh, co- computer games are now tournaments that are watched I mean the the single most watched activity on this planet is people watching other people play computer games like, more yes. than sports yes. mm-hmm. go to Facebook scroll down to gaming click gaming and look at all of the live streams on just Facebook of people gaming Mm. hundreds of thousands and then that's not including twitch and all the other special platforms youtube gaming and all the other special platforms right look the kids are going to school and it's boring as fuck and they hate it and they come home and they turn on their computers and they spend two to three hours perfecting their call of duty skills or their gta skills or whatever is the, the you know the, the mm. latest trending Fortnite fashions For, or, Fortnite. or whatever, mm. right? And mm. and to kids, you know, there are many things that are both good and bad about about everything. You can argue, you can argue the positives and negatives, but one thing that it's key for me is that the games don't discriminate. True. They don't care if you're a boy or a girl. They don't care if you're old or young. They don't care what country you're from. They don't care what religion you are. They don't care if you've got one arm and a half a leg, right? Yeah. It's more difficult, yeah. but, you know, you would... How you, you perform, how you, you play, how you start, play your strategy. Mm. Yeah, happens. and very quickly, if you play any of these games, very quickly you you realize that the game has a method, the game has rules. You need to develop a strategy. You don't get very far if you just play ho 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 ho, right? 